Hi guys, my name is Sugary Cupcakes and welcome back to another episode of Dream Daddy. coffee shop so I think we are about to go inside mmm the inside of the coffee shop coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting vinyl records line the walls and patrons lounge around on well-worn in couches some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage look at this daddy I love his tattoos I love the tattoos I do Welcome to the coffee shop, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Uh, it's, uh, kind of dumb. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a great idea at the time. And I suppose now it's still a great idea because, like, the business is still running. But people ask me all the time when I get give them this same answer. <laughs> every time and, and now I'm standing here rambling and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable as I keep talking but man we're in it now and I can't stop <laughs> Victor everybody's so confused like okay uh so what will it be I scanned the chalkboard menu and immediately and am immediately overwhelmed I'll have a Gatsby's new black coffee, iced tea, gin, and Sarah. I gotta get the iced tea, gin, and Sarah. Ah, oh, there's hearts. <laughs> Good choice. I don't get it. Yes. Oh, oh, it's a pun. Tegan and Sarah are this really awesome Canadian indie band formed in 1995. They were nominated for a Grammy in 2003 and are known for being masters of not only pop hits, but meaningful lyricism. Yes, I love Tegan and Sarah myself. They are a great band. Dun, 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 dun. I just want back in your head. <laughs> okay. I'm doing the thing again, but coming right up. And for you, I'll have the macchiato de Marco, please. Coming right up. Do you want it that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? Uh, medium. <laughs> Wait, is biggie smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? Matt sets to make in our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands to that you listen to. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Hey. Hey. Skull was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but just 
also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. Come on. What do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I'm always, if I, if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. See, we're making progress. Oh, this guy is so cute. Okay. Matt sets her drinks down at the table and I have a sip. The iced Tegan and Vera is delicious. Teagle and Vera. <laughs> Hey, we're new to the neighborhood. I'm Amanda, and this is my dad, Victor. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg under the table. Oof! I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. You know what? Let me give... Get your guys' opinions on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe. And uh, I need some help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're going to have to taste it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of <laughs> Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that Nana bread a taste if you want us doing free creative labor. I think that would commensurate with the... Uh, I've taught her well. We trained for this day. I was just going to give you guys free banana bread anyways. <laughs> right. Yes that. Matt serves us each a piece and Amanda and I happily chow down. This is amazing! Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. <laughs> Whatever that means. Oh god. So any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might be only a be I think I might only be able to give you dad bad dad band puns but I'll give it a shot okay um I'm gonna pick grateful banana oh no banana bread Kennedy oh, right said banana bread I'm gonna pick that right said banana bread. oh my gosh he loves it <laughs> this guy's totally for me okay like right said Fred but now, it's about banana bread. I think the youngsters would like it, despite not getting it. That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Yeah. Right said banana bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. Okay, the victor's like, baby? Okay, where is this going? I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized it didn't sound as good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. <laughs> Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. See? It sounds good when you say it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, across the way a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. Look at this guy, all scruffy. I hastily look away. Hopefully he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Uh, thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine... We should, I don't know, get back to unpacking this fresh air. I need a nap. We just had coffee. Have you ever known me to play by the rules? Your father is a real rebel, sweetie. Now, I'll aboard the train to the Sleepy Time Junction. <laughs> I 
As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Victor, bro. I turn around, I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Bro. Bro. Holy wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. He's cute. I love that haircut. So cute. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow. You look great. <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Yes, he is. Look at the little cute little baby. He's so cute. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Oh, thank you. The last time I think I saw you, you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny little wrist and waves them around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Nah, dude. River's my kid. Oh, so cute. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. Where have you been, man? I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? I mean, Ashley? Ashley's her name. <laughs> She actually still goes by, especially, and uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. It's old news. We just take and take worry. <laughs> we just take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Copacetic. I don't know. Twins? You have three kids? Ain't life sent them, bro, right? Keg Stan Craig is a father of three? Keg Stan Craig? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. This is my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. It's that thing where you do a headstand, handstand on the keg and then drink from the keg. Right. He was very good at it. Ah, uh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog, and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. On January 1st, when I promised myself that I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. <laughs> Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, it'd be fun. We'd grab breakfast afterwards and catch up. We could do like a bro brunch like in the good old days. All right, sure, sounds great. Great. Let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave and puts his earbuds back in and jogs off. I can't believe Richter. Oh God! <laughs> I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. Once. I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. That's gross. I could never, 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 never drink marinara sauce like that. Like, I would totally do it with breadsticks or something like that, but just to drink it, that's just, that's just too, too much. That's just too, too much, y'all. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. Then I asked him what the hell he was doing, and he said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, dude. Or bruh. 
I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. He's, like, totally a different person. Anyway, we better get home. I have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. <laughs> Amanda and I flop down on the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out the way before she can sit. Too bad we're putting my stuff up. Too bad we're gonna be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Oh, dad, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be fine. I know, I know. It's just, you're my little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. I'll come to visit and I'll text you like every day and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Of course. Are you going to be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. A dog? Forget our school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? <laughs> Medium sized dog, handkerchief around the neck, I get to name it? That's what it'll cost me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Amanda laughs. Suddenly a pilot envelope slide through the mail slot. Speaking of college, Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Yeah, but it's like my entire future. Not a big deal. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but okay. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, we... Her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan. Mc McGowan College of Art and Design. Oh, Amanda. Oh, I remember when I was applying for school. That is such a heartbreaking letter to get. Like, honestly. Oh. Oh, I feel bad. Why is this? Oh, my God. I feel so terrible. Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. It's okay. I kind of saw that coming. I knew I should have put that experimental stuff in my profile. Their admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. Oh, I'll pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much you, how much you, how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is gonna want to snatch you up for sure. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying that? I'm fine, really. Her face is the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. So, you need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. <laughs> I would choose a more delicate phrasing, but yes. <laughs> Well, I have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so I'll have the so you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah, what are your plans? Quick, quick, think of something, think of something. Ah! <laughs> mm, okay, uh, I'm going clubbing. I'm gonna put on a nice outfit and go tear up the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves, the lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man, you know, <laughs> all the ones you kids are doing these days. All right, bud, I'm not going to go pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to uh, go out and watch the game. 
Nice. Which game? You know, the game. The one that's coming on tonight? The game on TV at somewhere other than here? Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm going to do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emmas. <laughs> I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Eh, Nanda's drugs. I wouldn't expect you guys to be up to white collar crime at this point. Maybe money laundering at the least. I'm a street rat, Pops. You're kidding about the drugs and crime, right? Yes, Dad. Just making sure. I gave her a pat on the head. Have fun with your sports! Are you being sarcastic? No! Uh, making fun of sports is played out. Alright then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Hey, don't forget, you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. All oh, right, Mr. Vega? Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. I hope they have fun tonight. I am really glad Amanda has such sweet friends, even if I can never remember their names. Just as I'm heading out of my room, the doorbell rings. Oh my gosh! Okay, guys. Okay, it looks like somebody else is coming to visit Victor and Amanda. And I don't know who's going to be on the other side of that door, but it's been so eventful so far with the two that we have seen. So I think that I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. My name is Sugary Cupcakes. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and hit that subscribe button and join the cupcake shenanigans. So I will see all of you next time. And bye!